This is a light commercial project that we're on here today with a trenched insulated grade beam that's two feet deep, 10 inches wide with two inches of styrofoam around the outside perimeter. This perma column is gonna go in a 18 inch hole that's four foot deep. Right here we have, a, a, again, a PC 6300 with the PC 20 UA uplift anchors, which is an eight and a half inch uplift anchor for the six inch perma column series. We've also got our three ply two by six nail laminated column attached to the perma column using our hardware 63 kit. So we're gonna get this thing up in the air and show you how it goes. We've got our hole prepared. Again, 18 inches, 48 inches deep. We've got a footing pad in the bottom. And we're ready to plop this thing in the hole. That's how easy it is. Now we'll get it plumbed and level and we're good to go. So you may be wondering, how do you do an insulated foundation using permacolumns? So I wanna show you a little bit of what we've done. First, we start off with trenching around the outside edge of our, our building. Then we install our permacolumns as you would any other post. We attach our skirt board, and then we come back and attach a two inches of styrofoam between the skirt board and what will be the trench and what will be filled with concrete. So we've cut this styrofoam to length. We're gonna slide it between our columns. And we're gonna fasten it to the skirt board with a standard nail. And that allows us to have the insulation as required by code on the outside perimeter of our building, giving us a permanent foundation system that's insulated and meets code requirements. Concrete truck just showed up. We're getting ready to fill this insulated gray beam with concrete. Here's how it's gonna go. So in a post frame building, the, the concrete around the foundation is not the foundation of the building. The permacolumn itself is the foundation. The trenched insulated gray beam simply gives the building slab additional support at the edge of the building. This slab that will be on the inside of this building is technically a floating slab, which is standard in the post frame market. Whenever we use permacolumns, that acts as the permanent foundation system. The grade beam and the slab is just simply a method to give you a nice inside floor for your building. We tie together the, the insulated grade beam with the slab using standard rebar pins. It goes into the grade beam and then kicks up into the slab to tie those two pores together at that cold joint. There you have it folks. You've now seen a permacolumn installation on a light commercial project for the post frame industry. Permacolumns, an insulated grade beam, skirt board installation, build better, build stronger, build to last.